Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful baby dress. This uh, is a design that I have made myself. It's actually the first baby dress I have designed, so I'm actually very proud of it. It has a pattern in the skirt of the dress that's called Iris. I saw it in a book that I have about crocheting and I liked it very much, so I thought that would be nice in a skirt of a baby dress. And all these rounds here, they are half double crochets. These three flowers, I just made them. I made them in another yarn. They're, they're, um, uh, they're not this wool like the, the dresses and they shine a little bit. So um, I'll show you how to make them later too. I can put a link below for a video of that too. So this time I want to make it in pink. This is another type of garn, yarn, I mean, sorry. Uh, and um, the, the crochet hook that you need to use for this yarn is three mil millimeters. It's 50 grams and it's 150 meters per 50 grams. <clears throat> and it's the same for, for this dress. This is a bit different. Um, uh, yarn though but uh, they're the same size so we're going to start with a chain of 61 masks so I always start like this I can't remember who taught me this it's a video on YouTube I can't remember how who but uh, this is how I make the first one you just pull this as tight as you want it but we need to get the crochet hook through because this is how we make the masks in a chain. And we uh, are going to have 61 of these. So I'm not going to show you all the 61 that I'm going to make. I'll just pause it and uh, the same you can do. And we'll just meet back when we have 61, right? So this is how you do it. You just go and grab the yarn and pull it through the loop. And you do that 61 times. Grab the yarn, pull it through the loop. Grab the yarn, pull it through the loop. 61 times. Okay, see you back when you're finished. So we're back and we have 61 stitches in our chain. And then we're going to start with half double stitches. And we're going to start in the second mask from the needle. So that's the first one and this is the second one. And you can see you have one uh, yarn thread there and you have one on the downside and you have one in the back. So you're going to press through between the one in the back and the, the lower one. But first you have to grab the yarn and then you press the hook through that between the bottom and the middle one and you grab the yarn and pull it back through. And then you pull the grab the yarn and pull it through the three loops that you have oops, on your crochet hook. And you do that all the way back to the end. Okay. Did you get a hold of it? I'll show you again, okay? You have three kind of three threads in one mask right now. So this is the upper one, this is the middle one, it's kind of in the back, and then you have the lower one there. So you grab the yarn, or kind of twist it over your hook, and then you put the hook in between the middle one and the lower one, see? Like this. And you go and grab the yarn, pull it back through. I'll grab the yarn again and pull it all the way through the three loops on your crochet hook. So that's how you're going to do it, all the way back, okay? I'll just show you a few times more so you get the hang of it.
okay like that. So you do it all the way to the end and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so now we have six stitch stitches on this chain. Uh, and then 60 um, half double stitches. Okay, so at the end here, you make two masks in a chain, or chain two we usually say, and then turn. And now you're going to increase with one every three um, masks. So we start with two in one mask. And so this chain of two is one. And then we have another one in this because this belongs to this one. So then we have two, we start with two. And then the next two have one in. And then the third one here has, actually it will be the fourth, but that has two in, okay? And then one in the next one, and one in the next one, and then two in the following one. So this is how you're going to do it all the way till the end. And then you should have 80 masks. Okay. So see you back then when you're finished. Okay, back again. So now you should have 80 masks from start till end. Okay, so this next round is uh, easy. You chain up two, you turn it around, and then don't go in the first hole, because now we're just going to do one mask in each, um, or, or, or one half double crochet in each mask. So this goes for that one, okay? So no, in, no new one in here, but we'll do one in here. Oops, I forgot to wrap it around first there. So at the end of this row, you will also have 80 masks. Okay, I hope you got the hang of it now. It's easier to follow when you have the, when you've got the hang of it. Oops. <laughs> okay, so 80 of these and we'll meet, we'll meet up then. Now we have 80 at the end. So this time we're going to in, uh, chain two, turn around, and now we're going to increase with one mask per fourth mask <laughs> one double half double crochet per fourth mask so well we'll start with the increase here you have this two chain we count this as one so now we have two in the first and then we go with one in the each of the next three. And then we do two in the next. There two. And then one in each of the next three one, two, three, and the next one here will be two, so we increase 
every fourth mask. At the end, you will then have increased with um, 20 masks. So then we will have 100. Okay, so you just go on and do the rest. There's single crochet in the next three, two in the next singles, in the next three, two in the following, all the way till the end. Okay, and then I'll meet you back. Now you should have a hundred masks around here. Um, and then this round, you're just going to make a chain of two here, going to turn it around, and then just one single in each. That is one half double crochet in each, right? But a single one, not two one, two ones. Okay, and then when you're finished, you should have 100, right? So I'll meet you back when you're finished. Okay, so now we're at row number six, or this is five, and we're going to start row number six uh, now. And row number six is exactly the same as the previous row. So you chain two, you turn it around, and then you have one chain in each. Remember, not this first one because those two um, chains there, or this chain, it, it's uh, the first um, stitch. So we don't put it there, we, we start here. Okay, and then we just go around like this exactly the same as the previous round and we're going to end up with a hundred masks well i'm just not sure if you say mask or stitches but you know probably you've um, figured out what i mean right okay so I'll see you back when you're finished. So there, you finished with uh, row number six. Row number seven is, um, let me show you. Uh, you start with a two chain, so you turn it around, and then you have the first half double crochet in the base of the two chains. So now you have two in one. So you're in, uh, increasing by one every other stitch. So here's the first increase. And then the next one, it's a single one, single ha half double crochet. And so in the next one, there's two half double crochets. And in the next one, single one and then two. So this will be like this all the way around, okay? Or to the end. And then I will just skip one video now um, because after this you should have 150 stitches or masks as I call them uh, from the one end to the other end and on the eighth row then you will uh, just have one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around so after the eighth round then you will have 150 masks too okay and I'll get back to you after that row. Okay, see you then.
Okay, so now we're finish, finished with the eighth row and we have 150 stitches all around. And, and now we're going to put these two ends together. And you have to make a slip stitch in the first, the top of the stitches on the first one that you made on this row. So just a slip stitch, that means, okay, let me just do it a little bit slower. That means through this, you grab the yarn and you pull it through both loops, okay? So now you have a slip stitch. And now it's, um, you've put it together there, right? So this is, um, this is almost the end for the arm. So we're going to do another round that's round nine. And on that round, you're going to increase with one every third, I think it was. Let me just see. Okay, two, one, two, yes, every three. So now you make two like you always did and you turn it around so <clears throat> we will just this is this is going to count as one okay so we make a new one in the base of this one so that's then we have two and then we make a new one beside and then new one there okay so that's two one one and then we start over again with two sorry there's a fly here <laughs> and then one one are you able to see good enough okay let's just do it one more time I'm going to do a little bit more slow okay so two, there's one, and there's two, oops, okay, sorry, it was supposed to be in the same one, the two, okay, and then one, and one, and then two again, one, two. Okay, so you go like that all the way around and then you're supposed to have 200 masks, okay? I'll meet you back when you're here. There, then we're finished with round nine and now we have 200 stitches, okay, in the round. and the and the dress is um, completed there. So now we're going to, but we're still going to go back and forth, but we're always going to do a slip stitch at the end. So we have 200 stitches here and then we do a slip stitch in the first one on the row. And then we do two change and we turn it around. Now we're going to make the arms, the arm, the holes for the arms. So we're going to start from here. We're starting from here and we're going all the way over here. And that will be about um, 26 stitches. When we come to the 26 stitches, we're going to skip 47 sk stitches here and start on the front part but do 26 stitches and we'll meet each other at the end there with the 26 I'll just show you in the beginning the three stitches that or the two that we made here on the chain and turn that counts as one right and there is two and then you do 26 of these and we'll meet up okay Okay, so now I've done the 26, and now I'm going to skip 47. I've already counted 
Um, so this is the 47th mask. Uh, but well, I can count with you guys. See those holes? I just count those holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Seven, see 47 so we skip them and then we're going into that uh, stitch there where I have the marker so skipping 47 that's a great deal of mask so it's going to be faster afterwards So in this, I'm just going to have that, oh, see, okay. I have the marker on the, um, the mask that I'm going to, uh, to put the needle through. So we're, since we're on the wrong side, we're going to put it together like this, but I almost forgot. We're going to have three chain masks first. One, two, Three. It's just to get the pattern to, uh, and it looks nice around our other arms on this dress. So we'll just do it like that. Um, it's just to get it, to get the pattern even. We could have done one, but one would, you know, it's better having a little bit more than one. So three um, chain masks, and then you do a half double crochet in this. Okay, there, and then I'm just going to take this marker away, and then we continue with the half double crochet stitches around, and now we are going to do 54 of these stitches, one in each, okay? So 54, and then we're going to um, uh, skip 47 again, but we're going to have the same amount of chain mask under the arm, so it's three under there too. So let's meet back when we have uh, 54 of these stitches, okay? So five, four, 54, okay? Okay, there, <clears throat> 54 stitches. That's the front of the dress, okay? And then we chain up three. One, two, three. We skip these 47. Since it's on the wrong side, you know, that's the right side and this is the wrong side. That's why we do it here or else it would probably go like this, okay? But well, don't think about that now. Just, just do what I show you and everything will go all right. <laughs> okay, so a half double crochet in this. Can you see? Okay. A half double crochet in this mask. There. And then you continue with the half double crochets all the way till the end. And that should be um, 26. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now we're finished with the 10th row. Uh, and I have just put a slip stitch here as we have 26 here now, so, all right? Uh, so we'll have a slip stitch on this side just to join them, we'll keep them joined together. So 26 here, skip uh, 47, add three chains, you do 54, you add three chains, you skip 47, and then you have 26 here. And that's what we've done. This was round 10. 
and then we chain two and we turn it around. So this is where the dress starts with the pattern, the skirt part. Okay, so in order to do that part, you have, you start with the first that counts as one. So now we're going to do double crochets. So we do two double crochets in the same stitch, which now is in the base of the, of the single, uh, of the chain stitches there. And then we have one um, chain and then we do two double crochets and then we're finished that oops that's how the pattern is okay so we just do this over and over again until we're finished with a row so we skip one two three and then in the fourth we do the same thing we do a double crochet two times and then a chain and then two double crochets again uh, double stitches I'm doing I'm being confused you know with the names of these stitches but as long as you can see the video it should go pretty much easy okay so one two three four in the fourth there two of these again and then a chain and then two more and that's in the same stitch or mask Oops. So it's just one, one, two, three, four. A chain and two of these again. Very easy, actually, you know. One, two, three, four. And when you get a little bit into this, it's so easy you can just sit and watch TV <laughs> while doing it. One, two, three, four. Oops. Okay, one, two, three, four. We don't need that anymore. Whoops. Like this. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. So actually we skip these. And we just start in the first there because there's supposed to be four there, right? Oops, maybe it's the last one here. Let me see. Of course it is. Because that's, this is one, two, three. Oh, you can't see, sorry. Um, because this one, that's the first one. Then you have one, two, three. One, two, three, and there, that one. So we'll just put it through that one. So that was in the front of the first one here. Okay, that should be log logical for me, but 
Now it is. <laughs> okay, that was the first arm. So now you go all the way to the other side and I can meet you up there and we could, um, I'll just uh, help you through under the arm. Okay, so now we're nearly around the whole thing once. Uh, so we're finished with uh, the pattern in the one, but then we have to jump over three. One, two. Uh, let me just pull that over like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there, the fourth. Let's just put it in the fourth there. It's not going to be, say, be the same as the other arm, but nobody's going to notice that. one chain and then two more of the double crochets oops oh sometimes these yarns just split okay there see there and then we jump over three more or skip one two three we're not literally jumping but we're skipping them okay there's one two one chain and then two more so we're past this arm and then I'll meet you back where we started okay Okay, so finished with the last one of the patterns. We're going to do a slip stitch in this one. Ah, oh, sometimes they're so difficult to get into. Okay, there, a slip stitch like that, okay? And then we turn it around. And now we're going to start the pattern in each of these holes between the two uh, double crochets on the each side or between the four double crochets, okay? So that's here. But in order to get there, you do two slip stitch in those two first masks, okay? Or stitches, one, two, that's what I do. If you have another nifty way of doing it, uh, go ahead, do it, because um, if you do have something, you know, that's marvelous. So, and, oh, Okay, so we did two slip stitch here, okay? So I just go under just to get that thread, a slip stitch there too, so we can start here. So that's the starting point. We do three uh, chains, and then we just uh, start with a double stitch, or double, yeah, double stitch, and then a chain. So now you have two, because the first chains there, they count, remember? They count, and then this one, and then a uh, chain, and then two more. So this pattern is actually very easy to do. And now you just go over to the next hole, and you do a double stitch, and another one. You do a chain, and two double stitches. Okay, did you get that? I'll meet you back here. I'll show you a couple more, but I'll meet you back here and we'll do this um, uh, joining together of the two patterns here, okay? Uh, just so you get the hang of it. And, and actually, that's just what you do the rest of the dress. If you see here, that's just what you continue doing. I don't um, de um, increase or anything. It just looks like this because there's a lot of stitches up here. Um, it will look nice on the baby because um, uh, it could feel or look a little bit bumpy but it will look, look nice on a, uh, on a baby so you just do as many as uh, uh, rows that you want to I have done 20 rows here on this one if I remember right uh, I'm going to do probably as many on this so 
Uh, let me just show you a couple more of these patterns here. Okay, you do a double crochet in between of the four, right under the chain. One, two, and then one chain, and then you do two more in the same hole. Okay, great. And then I'll meet you back here, okay? and we'll do the joining together. We're finished. And then we just have to join them together um, with a slip stitch. And then we turn this over. And now you can see it's not on a line where we stopped earlier, see? So we need to try to get it as much on a line as possible. So we're going to do slip stitch in the next one, and then in the next one see it that you don't see that it looks nice see and then a slip stitch in the hole and this is where we start so we start with three chains because that's the first double crochet and this is the second now we have two then a chain and then two double crochets and then we're finished see and then we just go um, the, through the whole round the same way, but not with the chains now. Now you do two double crochets as ordinary, a chain and two double crochets. Okay, so then I'll meet you back when you're finished and when you're over here, and then we can join together. And here we are at the end. Then you have a slip stitch in that top mask of the first one for the round. And now you turn the work around and you're going to just check which you, you want to use. So now this would be the closest one, but since we have turned it around, we're going to do slip stitch towards the left. Two slip stitches and then one in the hole and then you do three because that's the first of the stitches and here's the second. One chain and two double stitches. So there you are, moving towards left with patterns. So and then when you come back here, you do just do a slip stitch, you turn the work around, and now you see the work will be more to the left. So then you take slip stitches towards, uh, well, towards the left. Uh, the, the work will be more to the right, I'm sorry. And then you you, uh, you aim towards this hole here, and then you start there. So it's pretty much what I've showed you up through these here anyways. Uh, I think you're going to do a good job. Just um, watch the video and uh, you'll get all the answers from it. If you have any questions, you can write down below uh, and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. So on the back, I have put a pearl button uh, and uh, I just made some um, uh, chains here so to put around the buttons just to keep it closed and actually it's a very nice tunica so they can um, use it for a very long time in the beginning it can be a um, let me go like this in the beginning it can be a full length dress and as they grow the arms are pretty much big here so they can have it for a while then it can be a tunica and you can have some um, nice pants under. Uh, I'll show you how to make these in another video. I'll put the video below. Um, this is cotton um, yarn and it 
it's a, um, it's shine is a little bit shiny doesn't show on the video but it's a uh, that's how I'm going to do with this one uh, I'm going to make flowers from this and put them here um, or you can just have a white bow you can use different things or you don't need to have anything at all maybe just you can you you can use, use a necklace on the baby I'm not sure if that's a, <laughs> something that you would do but anyway it's it's just nice like this too so I hope you liked the video I hope you um, were able to do it and um, good luck and see you in another video I hope you subscribe to my channel down on the right side of the video uh, and um, well have a nice evening bye bye